We're here at the St. Louis Gateway Arch, a symbolic representation of... <laughs> One more time. I didn't know you were right there. You can run up, do what you wanna, now you're a top of prima donna. We're at St. Louis's Gateway Arch, a symbolic representation of the gateway to the west of the country and the spirit of adventure. And this is as far west as we're going and we're pretty much turning around and starting to go back east from here. A uh, little known fact is that I was born here. I've never been back here since, and now I am, and I'm pretty excited. That's where I was born, all the way up there. Yeah, there's a hospital up there. It's called the Julian Ames Memorial Hospital. I don't know why it's a memorial. I didn't ask. We certainly haven't seen an arch quite this large yet on our trip. This is likely to be the largest arch we encounter. Come on. Yeah! yeah. Huh. That's surprisingly progressive. Well, that the that like this includes yeah. this stuff about the Mexican American War. You know? you continue to film my content without my permission, I reserve the right to chew loudly in front of it. <laughs> and so on and so forth. One exciting thing about tour is playing with new bands in the cities where we haven't been before, but tonight we have a kind of a different kind of treat because we're playing with two bands from St. Louis that we met in New York when they came to tour in our city. Bruiser Queen is a fantastic two-piece rock and roll outfit. Um, just high energy, great songs, just, just fucking kick ass. Last year, we had a show with the Monolithic at the Bowery Electric. And they said that they were from St. Louis, and they hadn't. Some some of the guys in the band hadn't been to New York before, and so I wanted to show them some of the stuff that was not like you know the Empire State Building and, and you know and, and Wall Street is that one of the ones people see? Anyway, but uh, so there's a bar called Tanica. Um, that's on Houston Street. And so we took the whole crew to Botanica on a whim, and then it turns out that Botanica had this back room that was empty and nobody was using. And they were like, hey, we've got this back room. We're gonna go hang out in this back room at this bar, like some VIP treatment, you know? And so we've been telling everybody this story for the last, like, almost a year now. And when we got here tonight, Mike was like, hey, I need to let you know that we're not nearly as cool as, as you guys probably thought we were last time. The morning after our St. Louis show, and we're crashing at the home of Chris from the Monolithic. Today is Chris's 30th birthday, so we're celebrating with some biscuits and gravy. Yeah, if there's anything anybody else needs, just let me know. I, I think you guys were on like your second to last, your last song. We were on the last song, and then we did like an encore where I had to like grab all the like, Yeah, that's what it was. It was supposed to be your last song, but then they asked for another one. Yeah. So you, he had fallen in during the, what ended up being your second to last song. Yeah. And like, 
but he had climbed up on your bass drum, so I would, I think I even said something to Shane, I was like, I was like, he's gonna fall onto the set, just thinking like it was gonna be a purposeful thing. Like, I, mean, I, I do just look like I'm about to do a prank fall all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then he did, and I mean, we're like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, because then he pulled the set back together, and you played another song, yeah. and, uh, and we were like, Oh, you know, like, that was amazing. So then we came up to you afterwards. We're like, dude, that was like, you guys were so tight. And then you fell into the drum set, and it was awesome. You're we like, yeah, it was an accident. It hurts. And you showed us like this big bridge you had. And we're like, that was an accident. And, like you should do that every time. <laughs>